Hey there. Sort here. Uh, long time no see, everyone. Um, things are going well. Uh, Bub is uh, happy and healthy. Uh, survived the first four weeks, so hopefully that means uh, smooth sailing from here on out. Um, thank you all. Thank you guys all so much uh, for the well wishes and for your patience and uh, and kind of sticking around and sticking with me. Um, I'll, I'll try to get some more content out to you guys this week. We've got, you know, Vision World obviously going on. We've got Clash of Wills. Um, I haven't really had time to do a whole lot of content lately, but I'm, I'm going to try and get back and, and do some content for you guys this week, starting with my rank one clear against Hadlar in the current Vision World event. Um, this one was pretty routine, pretty quick, four turn clear, so I figured uh, I'll start with this one. I have to redo my clap, my clash of wills uh clear anyways i did not do a rank one clear because um i i just i didn't have my my burst was like 4.8 4.9 like it it would require insane uh variance in order to hit the damage cap so i just i stuck with a 300 percent bonus clear and, and that would and just said i'm done uh, I'll, I'll show you guys that one later on this week, but this one's much simpler. Um, now, I've actually been very lucky with tickets lately. I, I managed to get Esper Tivus with tickets from the Facebook compensation. Um, I got two of them, actually. Um, and so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using him on this clear. I also, using those video summon ads, I managed to pick up um, Avon or or Avon or Avon. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. He's the Dragon Quest unit. He's like the breaker, the featured breaker unit. He's got like the multiple imperils with imperil fields and, and what whatnot. Uh, I managed to get him on one of those video ad summons. And since he's a limited unit, he, of course, they just give away the shards for that. So you can get them from like the summon box. You can get them from uh, Lapis Replica. You can get them from VIP coins. And so it was able to get him to EX2 pretty quickly. Um, and I decided since I pulled him, I might as well use him. And since he has all these imperils, I think he does fire, ice, lightning, wind, and light. So I decided, since he does all these elements, let's use as many of them as we can. So I'm doing a multi-element team here. I know it's not like, it's usually not advisable. Usually in Dark Visions or Vision World, you kind of want to stick with one element. Maybe mix two elements. I'm going to mix four elements. I'm just like, you know what? Let's do it. We've got, we've got four elements to play with. Let's use them. So um, here's the team, and I'm going to show you how I got my rank one. Um, I'm actually going to do a slightly different modified clear from my actual rank one. So my actual rank one was a six turn clear, but I modified it to a four turn clear just to make it simpler. Um, so here's the team that we're working with. We've got good old flaring ether rain as our leader because that way we can bring all the units we want. In this case, I wanted to bring Malfazi for wind. I wanted to bring Elena for ice. Uh, rain and Genesis are obviously here for fire, which is why we're in the fire slot because Genesis is going to be our biggest, our heaviest hitter still. And then Tyvus, of course, is going light elements. So we've got wind, ice, fire, and light. And uh, Avon or Avon, I, I, some, please tell me how to pronounce his name in the comments below because I might use him again in the future and uh, I wanted to make sure I pronounce it right. Anyways, so he's got the, um, he's got the, yeah, five imperils, 150% with an 89% defense and spirit break. And he's got, oh, that's not the one I was looking for, it's safe passage, there it is. And 40% imperil fields to all five of those elements. So that's 190% total imperil with an 89% defense and spirit break. Now his damage is rubbish, he's not here for damage. He's gonna be singing Zidane's STMR and then he's just gonna do his breaks and imperils on turn four, and that's fine. He's not here for damage. Um, so let's quickly talk about the team and the gear. All right, so Malfazi, we honestly don't care about her normal form. She could she could be naked in her normal form. Um, you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, this is the vision card you can now get uh, through through just summoning. It, it's a bit rare to get, but I know a lot of people have pulled this one already. Um, and it's perfect on her because she honestly doesn't need any of these little perks that go with it. She's fine without them. Uh, and it just gives her a nice high mag, uh, base mag. Um, the only thing is you want to make sure she has Lakshmi Esper so that she can do stop resistance for the party. Then in her Brave Shift form, um, yeah, just as much high mag gear as you can. Demon Killer is very easy for her to hit, um, so you don't really need to worry about them. These are honestly like killers from a previous... I didn't even have to change the killers from a previous uh, clear. I just didn't even bother because she hits Demon Killer so easily, so she's already at 300%, 300% LB damage boost. So that's why you can use a vision card like this. Um, you know, it doesn't give her the flat stats, unfortunately, but honestly, she doesn't need it. Um, but if you do have a better vision card you can give her, you could give her like... Um, 
like if you had Ibarra's vision card, that would work really well here. Um, I don't know if we have, do we have a good wind card? Um, I don't know if we have a good wind card yet, but yeah, something like that could work. Um, Elena is, uh, she's just tanking in her um, normal form. So she will be tanking the majority of the damage for us so that our damage taken score is zero. Um, or, or, you know, or as, as a perfect score, I should say. So perfect provocation, provocation for the provoke. Um, she's got 140% fire resist, that's plenty. Inner Brave Shift form built for full on damage. A uh, little demon killer to cap that off. She still needs her perfect provocation there to make sure no one else takes the single target physicals. Uh, Max on demon killer and LB damage. Good to go. Got her own vision card. Easy peasy. Um, Avon, you know, whatever. He can be whatever. I, I, in my previous clear, I actually had him as my, my evade provoke unit. Uh, and I had, um, and I had Malfazy singing, but for this one, I'm going to have him sing. So he just needs, I wanted to go with you. Um, if he's not EX2, you'll need to give him Call of the Wild so he has the 8 LB fill to cast this. Because you need 8 LB to cast I Wanted to Go With You. Um, Rain in his normal form is whatever. I gave him 10,000 needles so that we can evade the first uh, AoE physical on turn 1. And that's it. In his Brave Shift form, just max out his attack as much as you can. Um, yep. And uh, Force Mysterian is there to cap up his Demon Killers. Full LB damage. He's good to go. He's got his own vision card. All right, ready to rock and roll. Um, Tyvus in his normal form, we don't really care because um, we're actually not going to use his Meteor skill. Um, we're going to use his Brave Shifted LB. Now, if you did not have an EX2 Tyvus, uh, you might want to use his Meteor skill instead. Um, but that that would require having another Meteor card like Dazzling Demonus. You know, either having two Dazzling Demonuses or having Dazzling Demonus and the Midnight parade um and so i didn't want to assume you have both of those so we're going to use his lb instead but we don't really care about his normal form all right his brave shift form is where he's going to do all the damage so just high attack gear um lb damage he hits uh the killers pretty easily so 300 demon uh 350 lb damage and he's got slots to spare so you can use whatever you want in those slots there all right he's ready to go uh, Genesis is just does Genesis things, so um, you know as much MP as you can stuff into them. Make sure he has um, a form of chain cap boost there, um, and then yeah, just maxing out his MP. He's got the Mo Moonlight Parade of one, um, and I think he just needed a little bit of Demon Killer to help get him capped on Demon Killer, and he's good to go. All right, and uh, that's it. Yep. So let's get in here, see how we get this done in four turns. All right, so the damage cap is 24.5 billion. You have to do at least 24.5 billion. This team has been routinely doing over 27 billion on the burst turn. So there is room if your units aren't quite as strong. Um, th this team does a fair bit of overkill. All right, so first things first, um, Avon does I Wanted to Go With You, and he'll just be singing till turn four. All right, um, Malfazi does Unstoppable Protection for the stop resistance. Elena... We'll do uh, Benediction for the cover, Sanctuary for all the mitigations, and then Bar Blazaja for more mitigations. Um, 10,000 Needles from Rain. Uh, Tyvus is just going to do his Battle Master's Field for the 100% LB damage field. And Genesis can just guard on this turn. Genesis doesn't need to do anything till turn 3, where he sets up for his burst on turn 4. All right, Elena just does her LB to put that modifier boost on hers. Now Faisy will do her LB as soon as Elena's done because we don't want to do any chaining here. All right, uh, and we're doing Malfazy's LB so that her Bray shifted LB is a tag chain. Okay, so that's just, it's it's helpful that her, uh, just make sure everybody's chain fits. All right, Rain's going to shift and do his. Okay, uh, Tyvus and Genesis can once again just guard. Okay, looking good. Now Elena can shift and set up. Boom, boom, and 
Uh, true freezing. Yep, he's going to do ice. All right, Malfazi's going to shift and get ready. So Malfazi is going to be our party demon killer as well. All right, as the crow flies to imbue herself with wind, skilled scavengers for the mod boost, demon ranker for the demon killer, and fleet wing flyers for her 150 amp and mag store. Rain is going to do elemental burst fire, uh, armor grant me the power, and true undermine for the, the bigger attack and mag breaks. All right, just to make sure Elena doesn't take uh, too much physical damage. All right, Tyvus is now going to shift. All right, he's going to do uh, Elemental Burst Light, uh, Medine's Impetus, and No One Could Stand Against Us. All right, Genesis does his prep. Oop, let's do triple. All right, Burst, just fill LB just to have something for that second action, and then Loveless Preface for the Mag Store. Okay, you see we take very little damage thanks to uh, Elena's typed mitigations. So we don't even need to worry about um, Mirage or anything like that. All right, so now it's just loading up on the LBs, LB, LB. All right, um, so Elena and uh, Tyvus both have triple bolting strike frames, so they chain with each other easy enough. We'll do Enhanced Glimmer for the breaks. And the Imperil, safe passage for the field, and then just coagulant is something to do for that last action. Okay, uh, Genesis obviously does his finisher. Malfazi does her LB, and since her LB is tag chaining, we're going to make that the last LB to go. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to do Tyvus and Elena, and then Rain and Malfazi in that order. I'm going to do them all you know, in quick succession, but I'm going to do them in that order so that Malfazi is the last one to go. Since hers is tag chaining, that'll make sure everybody's hits fall within the chain so everybody gets their hits in there. All right, so Tyvus and Elena go together because they chain together, followed by Rain and Malfazi. All right, now, since no one's, since no one's using the same element here, the chain does ramp a little bit slower, so if you want to give people like, you know, some chain ramp speed or something to improve your damage, you can. That would be most helpful on units like Rain and Elena. Uh, it would probably be helpful on Tyvus too, okay? Uh, and, and also Malphase. I guess it would be helpful on any of them. So you can honestly, you could use materials like that to ramp up the chain speed to improve your damage, but I, I personally don't need it for this clear. You might, though. It might help you squeak more damage out of your team. So keep that in mind, all right? So here we go. All right, looks like everybody got in there. Let's see what our damage score is. 30, wow, that's a high roll. Man, I haven't hit one that high in a while. <laughs> <laughs> my, my previous high was was 28 so yeah this team is definitely doing overkill um, but the nice thing about having rain as the leader is you can you can do a lot of swaps here um, so if you don't have the new Tyvus throw Rikt in there Rikt would be great um, oh wow yeah Genesis hit the damage cap on that one that's why okay he's never hit the damage cap before <laughs> for me that's the first time he's hit the damage cap that's pretty awesome um, you see Malfazi doing great like Malfazi Malfazi is doing fantastic, but that's because she gets the 250% demon killer to herself, so she gets that extra bump from the, the higher demon killer. Um, everybody else is just working with a 150 um, that she spreads to the party. Uh, Elena not doing too bad there, almost 3 bill, you know, she's she's trying to make herself look like she's worth it. Um, Rain and, and Tyvus um, doing very similarly there. And then Genesis obviously just bringing it home. Um, so yeah, that's how we got this one done. Hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, stay tuned for more this week. I'll be doing uh, I'll be doing my Clash of Wills high rank clear. I'll probably do another Vision World clear because I want to use my uh, I want to use my Lightning again um, just to make her earn her her <laughs> earn her lapis that I spent on her. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably do one with Lightning. I might try some other clears. I I, I I don't know. We'll see. If there if there are any teams you guys would like me to try, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I will see you on the other side.